In this video, we'll focus on the Flix workflow with Toonboom Storybook Pro. The first thing to do before exporting an existing Storybook Pro project for the first time is to start a new sequence version in Flix. Now in Storybook Pro, I want to make sure the Flix plugins are available. They can be found in the Toolbar's customized menu, and it's only a matter of moving them from the Available Tools list to the Toolbar list. All the boards have a duration of 24 frames, some of them have dialogue or action notes, and they're broken down into seven scenes. To export the entire current project, I'll use the first Flix plugin with the gray icon. Flix will then import all the boards as Storybook Pro exports them, along with their associated metadata. Once the import is done, you can see that every board came in with the timing from Storybook Pro, as well as the right dialog. Toggling on the markers in Flix will also indicate the scene breaks created in Storybook Pro. We can now add a comment and save this as a new version in Flix. To reopen your Storybook Pro project directly from Flix, you can select any panel that came from that project and use the Storybook Pro plugin available in the Sketching plugin dropdown where the Photoshop plugin is located by default. Flix will find the original project and open it in Storybook Pro, automatically highlighting the board that was selected in Flix. We've now made a few changes in our project, such as a revision on the first board, adding a new one, and applying a camera move over the last few panels of the second scene. All these changes are highlighted in yellow, thanks to Storybook Pro's tracking mode. In order to only export the panels that were modified or added, I'll use the third plugin with the yellow icon. Alternatively, I could manually select the panels I want to send to Flix and use the second plugin with the red icon. Now in Flix, we'll see only the edited and added panels being updated and inserted into the edit. The panels on which the camera moves were added are now animated in Flix and the animation can be visualized in the viewer. We can now save that as a new version. Now let's assume our sequence was published back from editorial, where effects have been applied and timing was changed. In order to conform the Storybook Pro project based on the new timing from editorial, we'll use the Storybook Pro plugin from the editorial plugin dropdown. When the publish is complete, Flix will reveal an XML file in the Finder or File Explorer. Now in Storybook Pro, to import that XML, we'll need to go to File, Conformation, and Import Animatic Project. You can simply paste the path to the XML in the Import dialog, making sure that there is no extra space at the end of it, and click on Import. The timing and shot ordering from Flix has now been applied to the Storybook Pro project. 